if the onus is on you to make your business what you want it to be, no one else. And the sooner you realize that and the sooner you let this stuff go of I got to be here because like, like I said, your house is about of cards that's going to fall. Once again, the people that go ahead and take all this money and invest it, you'll be fine. The folks who go out and blow it, <clears throat> live this baller lifestyle, you're going to be in trouble like a motherfucker. I wasn't going to do this video, but I got like a bunch of emails, Facebook, a private account. Amazon has done what I said they were going to do. Everyone's like, no, Glendon, no, Glendon, no, Glendon, it's not going to happen. All right, for those of you who can't do re simple research, Amazon isn't even the top 400 world largest companies. I saw a comment this morning that, you know, Amazon's just taking a bite out of Walmart's profits. Amazon didn't make any profits last year. They lost $272 million. Walmart's the 12th largest company in the world. Amazon is 455. If they were in the NBA, they would be that scrub team with the high draft picks. Hey, you want to avoid this calamity? You want to actually start building a business? Now, I'm going to be really straight with you probably going to take you six months to 24 months to get to a point where you have livable income or longer. That's the reality. But to help you flatten out that learning curve, be sure to get those free 19 courses. One of the first links below. 30 days to 2,500. Go through the course. Go through all of the tasks and everything. Really do the work. You do the work, you'll be successful. It's free. Now, if you find value with that course, or any of the other 18 courses, I ask you to recommend two or three friends to the channel. And I ask, once again, if you find value, to pay what you want. The link's on the page where you get your free courses. And that's pretty much it. Let's jump into this video, which is going to piss off a lot of damn people. Let me tell you what's going on. Let me tell you what happened and why it's going to continue to happen. Amazon doesn't need you. I know you want to feel that, hey, you're contributing. I don't even know numbers. Well, I wouldn't be surprised if Amazon does $10 million an hour. I wouldn't be shocked. So if Amazon's doing $10 million an hour, if you're a $10 million a year seller, if you're a $20 million a year seller, if you're a $50 million a year seller, you are small fucking potatoes in the grand scheme of things. They don't need you. With uh, Canon, Sony, or well, Nikon, Sony, Canon is probably going to happen soon. Essentially, what these brands are doing is protecting their margins. And Amazon and these brands are going to get together and they're going to cut you out because they don't need you. If I was Amazon, this was my deal, my thing, I would be doing the same thing because it's all about efficiency and profit protection. Having all of you wild ass variables, you got a strong seller who's selling stuff at a good margin, then you have someone new who manages to charge up a bunch of inventory, then they can't sell it and they freak out, then what do they do? They lower their price, thus forcing everyone else to temporarily, or in some cases, permanently lower their price. They destroy the fucking market. Now. I get a lot of flack from the reseller community about this, 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 this. But the thing is, I have 10 fucking years of upper level reselling ability and reselling experience because not only did I sell on eBay, not only did I sell on Amazon, I sold a lot of my product to the public. I had a lot of one-on-one -on -one transactions, 8,000 plus transactions for Craigslist that I did. And what you got to understand, and I keep saying this, and you can get mad at me if you want to, you can dislike this video. The sooner that you learn how to run a real fucking business, the sooner this shit will stop freaking you the fuck out. Sell on Amazon, knock yourself out, but take that money, develop your own website, develop your own traffic, develop your own profit, because I cook a lot of fucking heat for putting up my first no eBay, no Amazon, more money video a few years ago. Well, I see the fuckery is going to increase, so I have a no eBay, no Amazon playlist. Why? Because more shit like this is going to happen. 
And some of you are going to have to get burned so bad for you to actually go, damn, Glendon fucking Cameron was right. You're like, uh uh, that motherfucker can't be right. Well, so and so told me this, and there's this faux $10 million seller, and there's this faux $20 million seller. When I hear that someone sells 10 million a year on Amazon, I'm not impressed. I know margins. They're not selling. Amazon's machine is selling. They're not selling. Now, if you took that same person and say, hey, here's a website, here's some products, can you make $10 million of sales from your website, develop the tracker? the strategy, the market, then I'll be impressed like a motherfucker. I would be impressed like a motherfucker. And this is what's going to happen. You're going to have a lot of people who are going to get disenfranchised or kicked off of Amazon or some shit's going to happen. Then they're going to be forced to go out here and do what I've been saying to do for years. You know, look, I got my, I got my free shit, right? Hustlers, Kung Fu, LifeSkills.com. That's free. That'll get you in the game. And it's free. You can, you're not even ready for my upper level stuff. You, you can't even handle my upper level stuff. That's the reason that I've changed tactics. But for here and now, you need to start building your own fucking e-commerce site. And I don't want to hear this stuff like, how do I get traffic? Fucking learn. You know that movie Swordfish with John Travolta and uh, I think Jack Human or Hugh Jackman, whatever his name is, and they're in the car. And it's a it's a six speed and the guy says, I don't know how to drive. And John Travolta puts that sh that uh, machine gun to his head and says, learn. Next thing you know, he's shifting gears like a motherfucker. That's what it's going to take for a lot of you to make this transition. I'm just putting this out here because this is fucking entertaining me because I predicted this shit was coming. I keep saying this shit is coming. And then you have people out there who, for some reason, uh, just refuse to accept the fact that you're not that important in the grand scheme of things. You're important in your circle. You're important in what you do. But in as far as Amazon, you're just a piece of machinery. As someone who's made a lot of damn money on Amazon, when I was selling my book, I was selling it for what, 99 bucks on Amazon? And I was like people, 10 people a day were buying that book. This went on for months. Made a lot of money on Amazon. But out at $99, I got... $38 because create space was printed. Now I know people are like, well, hey, you didn't have to do anything. You got 38 fucking dollars. Okay. On my website, I was selling the PDF. Yes, the PDF for $59.99. And I got $58. And I didn't have to do shit. So $38, $58. You see where I'm going with this? And a lot of stuff's going to have to change with some of you because. You know, it, I understand it's hard. I understand that change is tough. I understand that. But you guys are going to have to start stepping the fuck up. Because what's going to happen is you're going to go out and buy a house. You're going to make a lot of money on Amazon. You're going to do really, really well. You're probably going to be making 100 grand, 250. You might even be bringing home like 70, 100,000. You're going to buy a house. You're going to get this nice car. And then there's going to be a few of you who are going to be smart enough to invest that money. Most of you are not. There'll be a few who will invest that money. So when the shit crash, you'll still be good. But most of you will make that money and you will create a lifestyle at the height of that money. And when that shit crash, you will be bankrupt. You will lose the house. More than likely, you'll get divorced and all kind of the nasty bullshit's going to happen because you're fucking addicted to easy. Yeah. Going out and Watching Amazon to see what sells is fucking easy. Going out, creating a survey, creating the marketing strategy, asking people, getting on the phone, talking to people, measuring the shit in the marketplace, that's fucking hard. But it's more successful in the long run. It's going to take more time, it's going to take more energy, but you will be more successful in the long run. Short term, yeah, Amazon's fine. You know, you could scale up. You can get up to like a million dollars of sales in two years, maybe three years. You're like, oh, yeah, I'm a million dollar seller. What's your net profit, bitch? Some of you, it's 50 G's. For some of the smarter ones, it's maybe six figures. It's not going to last because they don't need you. They are Amazon, I got to say, and I tip my hat, is the biggest Internet pimp ever. They create a platform, 
they get traffic, they create their own proprietary systems, then later on sell those systems to other people. Because a lot of people use this Amazon Web Services, a lot of big companies. And they're just cool with it. But the thing is, once they put you on that whole stroll, drain you out, copy your products, because they have more marketing data about your product than you do. Hello? Isn't there something strange about that? Would you, it's like going in the house and you, you, you got this house, right? It's this luxury house. You got the keys, you can come as you please. But for some reason, every time you start asking about, you know, can, can I get my name on the mortgage? Can I get my name on the lease? They're like, oh, no, nah, we'll do that later. Then one day you come home and the key doesn't work. And you're like knocking on the door and they almost say, hey, you don't live here no more. Click. And that's it. That's what you're doing when you're putting all of your eggs in one basket with Amazon. You're setting yourself to be evicted from some shit that you think that you own. Now, let me tell you what's going to happen next. Right now, it's Sony and Nikon. It's going to be all the big brands. They're going to limit your ass because, see, this is something I learned from eBay. Low price sets market price. When I was selling used stuff, I could not be too close to the new. And when I'm saying close, $50, uh-uh. No, 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 no. 100 uh-uh. No, it had to be two, three, four, five, six, seven hundred dollars $700 less than new, even if it was still new. So they're sick and tired of you low ballers. Yeah, low ballers. You ain't ballers. You're low ballers. All these folks who are racing to the bottom, a few people creating this low pricing friction. They're sick of you folks. Now, I know Amazon is saying, hey, you know, low price sells fast, but the big brands that have invested in the intellectual property, the manufacturing, all this, they're not happy with your ass. They don't want, they want you gone. <clears throat> and this is a war, man. This is a war. This is a, you know, and this is the thing that, you know, cracks me up. Like when I have the audacity to charge for my services, the audacity to charge for, you know, you should be helping. This ain't fucking kindergarten. You should be helping people. I got a whole platform that gets 60,000 hits a month that's completely fucking free. If, I, if that doesn't help your ass, fuck you. What do you want? My heart? My social security number? My credit cards? Bank account? Oh yeah, that's what you want. Fuck you. Fuck you. If the onus is on you to make your business what you want it to be. No one else. And the sooner you realize that and the sooner you let this stuff go, of I gotta be here because like like I said your house is about of cards that's gonna fall once again the people that go ahead and take all this money and invest it you'll be fine the folks who go out and blow it <clears throat> live this baller lifestyle you're gonna be in trouble like a motherfucker and I'm gonna have the sheer pleasure yes pleasure because I don't even fuck with you reseller guys I don't participate in groups I don't really talk to anybody, but I am taking sheer fucking pleasure in watching everything that I say years ago, everything that I said years ago come to fruition. I'll tell you a little story about Kindle publishing. I was in the writing group four or five years ago and I said, Amazon is going to lower the income of offers. And there was this stuff where, you know, you were just going to keep making all this money and it was just keep going on forever. Business does not work like that. Even if you have a winning product, at some point, it's going to lose momentum. That's just natural. And I'm like, no, this is, there's going to be some way that they're going to limit author's income. Because what I thought they were going to do was monkey around with the 70, uh, 30 percentage deal. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. They, 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 they're smarter than that. They fucked with the page count. Because what? Now, as an author, as a lifelong reader, as a member, a 15 member of a, a book club was only male member. I know most people don't read a book. They could spend 20, 34. I mean, people, you know, this is back in the day when people were paying 25, 30, $35 for hardbacks to put up on their bookshelf to look like they were intellectual and shit. Didn't read them. So if someone's going to spend 25, 35, 40 books for a hardback and not read it, what is $9.99? What's $3.99? What's f they knew most folks were not going to read these books, even if the book is great. Most folks are not going to finish reading the book. Nope, I don't care how fucking great it is. There are people who have not read all of Stephen King's books, which are excellent. There is just, people are not. So I was like, 
Amazon, you motherfucking pimp. And there will be more of this fuckery. There will be so much more in every aspect, every category. And I know some of you are just like, you know, Glendon wants to sell his programs, which is true. See, I'm honest with my shit. Most of the internet marketers are not. I don't want to be your fucking friend. I don't want to be your fucking buddy. I want to make some damn money. And if me saying that alarms you or it makes you feel some kind of way or it drives you away from this channel, you will not make it in this fucking marketplace. Because if someone is being honest with you about making money and you freak the fuck out, you will never, ever be a successful entrepreneur. It's not going to happen, playboy. It's not going to happen, playgirl. Because if small shit makes you flip your wig, oh, what the marketplace has for your ass. <laughs> now, I've been doing this shit since 2000. I am a veteran. I have been through recessions and still made money. Let me say that again. I have been through recessions and still made money. I started this into information business in 2009 at the height of one of the greatest recessions we have next to the Great Depression and was successful. I want you to really hear me when I say that. I can make money when other folks are losing money. That comes from duking it out in the fucking marketplace. That comes from pivoting, that comes from zigging and zagging. That's some shit you're gonna have to learn how to do. Because in your business career, there will be recessions. There will be fuckery. There will be all kinds of stuff. And if you don't get a tough fucking skin, and if you don't stop whining all these groups like little bitches, like, <laughs> oh, God, they did this to me. They did this. No, no. The marketplace did it to your ass. Understand the marketplace doesn't care about who you are, doesn't care about what you want. It only cares about its own selfish desires. That's it. That's what the marketplace cares about. Doesn't give a fuck about you. Doesn't give a fuck about your mortgage. Doesn't give a fuck about your kids. It does not care. How do you know? And you're part of the marketplace and you've done this shit. Stores going out of business. Do you go, oh my gosh, those poor people? No. You'd be like, oh yeah, I can get some shit for cheap. You're the marketplace. You've done that shit. A lot of you FBA sellers, uh, I think um, Sports Authority is closing their stores. I know a lot of you FBA sellers got woodies and shit. Oh! People are losing their jobs. But since you're the marketplace, you don't give a fuck about that. They're closing. People are losing their jobs. People are going to go in bankruptcy. Folks are going to foreclose on their homes. Credit ratings damaged. Divorces. But you get your cheap shit, right? You don't care. You're not thinking about those poor, unfortunate people. You don't give a damn. You will not lose one wink of sleep because you are the marketplace. Look at your actions when a company goes out of business, then multiply that by billions. That's how people respond. That's how it goes. That's how it goes down. And a lot of you are just stuck up in la-la land. And until you get your head out of your ass, until you put on your big boy panties, your big girl panties, and get out here and duke it out for real, go out through some changes, you're just not going to be long-term successful. You can be short-term successful. There's all kinds of folks who are doing this. I went and looked for all of the, quote, internet marketers that were doing what I'm doing in 2009, 2010. They're most 99.9% of them are gone. They never had any real fucking business skills. They had a tactic. They employed some kind of system that Google or Facebook or something just disrupted. They never learned how to fucking sell. They never learned how to write copy. They never learned how to really market. And as long as you keep following these tactics, what happened to them is going to happen to you. Are we clear about that? Because this is the shit that's going down. Like I said, I create this playlist. I create this playlist because I saw what was happening. The Amazon fuckery is going to intensify. And for all of you like, well, the sky's not falling. There's plenty of money to be made there. Question. Are you making as much money as you want right now? If you're not, it's going to become much harder in the future. 
And if you're already struggling now, you're going to struggle much harder later. That's the reality. But people don't want to uh, accept that. They don't want to embrace that. So this is just me. I know I'm going to get a whole bunch of dislikes because I'm laughing my motherfucking ass off. Because to, it's May 2016. I'm putting the date in here because uh, May 2018, there's going to be more changes. There's going to be several changes between now and May 2018. Just like this, they're going to disrupt your business. They're going to fuck up your financials. And because you want to believe in dreams and fantasies versus the real world are going to suffer. You're going to fucking suffer. You're going to be out of business and you're going to be like these people who go from thing to thing to thing. So bring on the hate, bring on the dislikes, please do, because you that dislike, all it shows is, you know what? You ain't ready for this. You will never be successful as a long term online marketer, merchant. So it's just not happening. It's just not happening. So for those of you who are still here and if you like the content of this channel, be sure to like, <laughs> subscribe and leave a comment.